Well, I want to introduce Rachel and Carrie, who donated the wedding gown to Jessica, and also Lisa, who donated flowers. Between them, they were conned out of uh, more than $2,000. Um, it, it says a lot about the three of you that, out of the goodness of your heart, you wanted to do this to help this person. Was there ever a moment of doubt for any of you? Never. No. 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 Um, Carrie, you were the one who, who met Jessica when she first came to the bridal salon. W how convincing was she? To uh, completely convincing. I, I never once questioned her, uh, her story at all. Um, when she came in, she was very um, guarded a little bit at first. And once the story came out, she was very open and honest. And not at one point did I question her. Do you all, I mean, want an apology from her? Obviously, you want restitution from her. Do you want an apology? Is that more important? I really want to say I don't care about the restitution. I, I care agree. about yeah. her getting better. She needs to get better for her children. You she, think she really is sick, just not oh, with yes. cancer. You think she's sick with something yes, mentally. she's mm -hmm. mentally sick. She's got, she's got a lot of problems. Yeah. Michael, it's I mean... She explained to me. Michael, I mean, I think a lot of people would want to know why. Why do you think she did this? She explained to me that o over the years, um, the, the, a lot of the men figure in her life have uh, mentally, physically, and sexually abused her, and she never told anybody about it, and it all bottled up and festered. I believe that she thought that she was going to lose me, the only man, man figure in her life that never hurt her in any of that way, because I had two feet out the door because of the way the relationship was going. So she lied to me about this. Did she know you were going to contact the newspaper and that this was going to become a story uh, the first time about the wedding dress? No, I, she did not. I was so moved that they offered this wedding dress that I called the newspaper. So and she didn't it, know that. So that didn't, she hadn't planned on this becoming a big story. Not at all. I, I disagree with that. You, you disagree? Tell me. Yeah. Um, the previous, we, Carrie was an employee at the store at the time and they offered up the gown, and it, after she called me, it, it, it spiraled into a lot of other donors. And she had said to me that the, the article in the paper was a, a thank you. You know, she was very aware of, of the paper, and I'm not by any means calling you a liar as far as you calling the paper and you being behind it. But what was said to me was it was done to thank everybody that right. we had pulled well, together. Well, she, she was lying. I mean, she could have been lying about that. Why not Correct. lie about that if you're lying about everything else? Brenda, right. you, you actually offered her the honeymoon tickets, right? Yes, we you, did. Will you stand up? Sure. So explain that. Where, where, where was the honeymoon to? It, I read in the article that they were um, offered the um, timeshare in Aruba. And I said, they're going to need to be able to get there. I have these airline vouchers. And I said, I want to do this. So you, you were a complete stranger to her. You didn't know her. I did not you know, know her. No, people are so good. I mean, it's amazing to me. You know, I mean, it just so, it really reflects so well on you.